Merry Christmas Eve. I hope you're all doing well and you're safe at home with your loved ones or wherever you need to be. On this night, I would like to tell a story, a true story of a triumph of the human spirit, of a true Christmas miracle. The time is Christmas Eve, 1914, and for the past five months, the people of Europe have basically gone mad. And fought each other with such ferocity and such intensity on this and over this patch of ground along this line in northern France that it has been just beaten into a hell. But in this hell on Christmas Eve, December 1914, the guns petered out spontaneously without any order or directive. In fact, it, against the order and directive to keep fighting, the guns petered out and fell silent and candles spontaneously appeared on both sides of the line. And the people and soldiers, the workers, who carried these candles and lanterns and lamps, came out and started to talk to one another and fraternize and exchange little pleasantries and gifts of cigarettes and alcohol and snacks. And they started to carol together and express their common humanity. And the high command didn't know what to do. They knew that they couldn't punish anyone, and in this case, they, they didn't. No one was court-martialed or executed. Um, and later, mutinies, uh, as the high command called it, there were. But in this case, they, they knew that they could not do that because this was just such a true expression of the goodness of these men, that they couldn't possibly punish them for it. And when I say that the soldiers fraternized, um, they, they held joint funeral ceremonies for not only their own, for their, each other's soldiers. Which is incredibly cathartic. That will, that will, I mean, can you imagine how, how much that would heal if, if you're the machine gunner who, who, snuffed out those men's lives out in that field and they've been out there in the cold for the past two or more months. And uh, instead of having to watch them and see them every day, watching rats crawl over them, you can bury them. You can say you're sorry. Um, so it was a true miracle, a real triumph of the spirit which was only stopped by the orders of the high command. While no one was court-martialed or executed, um, 
they they were reassigned points on the line so that they would not be familiar with the people directly uh, opposite of them. And the war continued for another four years at the behest and uh, at the demand of the ruling classes. I'll get into that in another video. Karl Liebknecht and uh, Rosa Luxemburg and people like that. But for now, just, yeah, I just think about that. Just think about the, the possibilities that, that exist. If, if people, if men who have been slaughtering one another for months on end can get out of their trenches and And, uh, and be brothers, then anything is possible. And maybe, just maybe, we can get out of some of the messes that, uh, that we've gotten ourselves into as a species. And historically, uh, which actually started at that point in time, uh, if, if everybody had went home in Christmas of 1914, a lot would have been different in the 20th century. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for now. It was a good Christmas. I, like I said, I hope yours was as well. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share this little little story. Have a good Christmas.